The deep blue has tonight triumphed over the world chess champion Garry Kasparov. Scientists have developed a program to beat the Chinese board game Go. Well, that is it. The GG is called the good game here from TLO. And the first game from Alpha Star against a pro gamer goes to Alpha Star. Ryan Sachs, a well-known and respected magic player, set out to create a machine learning algorithm that could draft and build limited decks from Innistrad Crimson Vow well enough to allow him to reach mythic rank on Magic the Gathering Arena. As a limited player who's always looking to improve, I was immediately intrigued by Ryan's idea. I wanted to know how he was going to program a machine learning algorithm that would draft and build decks to play in Magic Arena. I wanted to know why Ryan built this AI. What drove him to do it? Would he reach his goal of becoming Mythic Rank in Magic Arena? And if he was successful, what would this mean for Magic Draft going forward in the future? So I reached out to Ryan to give us his background and see if he'd answer some of these questions. Ryan fell in love with programming and machine learning from a young age. His father, a psychiatric researcher working with machine learning, got him an internship when Ryan was in high school. At 19, he had already built a custom AI for a startup, and in grad school, Ryan researched machine vision. Ryan is now an expert in applying machine learning to marketing and is the technical co-lead of the machine learning team at Anheuser-Busch InBev. I'm a very passionate person. I have a lot of hobbies. You know, magic is one of them. I, I love the intersection of what I do and my hobbies. I think it lets me both grow professionally and it gets me excited to learn about new and cool things. The reason that I wanted to merge those passions is just because that's how I function. You know, whenever I get really excited about some new technology in my professional space, I try and pursue it with a personal project. I haven't gotten the opportunity to work professionally with a type of algorithm called a transformer that is really exciting and making waves in the entire sort of AI space, specifically in natural language processing. And I thought this would be a cool opportunity to learn a lot about that architecture by adopting the problem of magic draft to that. So what I hope to achieve from this sort of was twofold. One, prove that this is actually an approachable problem that you can do. And two, once we have this, there's a lot of really cool research now that shows that we can sort of dig into these transformers and try and understand how they learn over time, how they make decisions or other machine learning techniques. How does this thing work? So the first thing is, you know, you have this question, what is a card? Think about it from your, your own brain. You know, when, when you think of the card Lightning Strike and you think of the card Lightning Bolt, there's an inherent connection between those two pieces of cardboard. You understand that the difference between those is literally one generic map. How do you do that in your brain, right? You have a way of mapping similarity and even distance, you could think of it, between cards. So step one of how this algorithm works is how do we learn something that tells the computer how it can compare cards. Feeding all the information that we have about cards to the computer, CMC, power, toughness, card type, different mechanics like does it create blood, different stats from 17 lands, game in hand win rate in blue red, the game in hand win rate in all red decks, the game in hand win rate generally. You, know, you feed that all into the algorithm and you say, okay, try and figure out what cards are similar. Then you have to think about the information that you get when you're drawing. You get a pack that is, you know, 15 cards at most, and you have to select the best card between those options. So what you do is now that you have this sort of understanding of distance in cards, you get that representation of what the algorithm thinks cards are for all of the cards in the pack. You also get that same representation for all of the cards in the pool, as well as all of the cards in the packs that you've previously seen. And then you basically tell the algorithm, look at all this information, decide what's important. This is effective called attention. It decides what to pay attention to at any given point, and you can see when it's looking at specific packs and information to determine, hey, a card might wheel here, maybe that determines I should take a different pick. If there was a wretched throng pack one, pick one, and there's another wretched throng pack one, pick six, it may take that wretched throng over a better blue card because it thinks that wretched throng will wheel. And what that means is it is attending to the pack information that we gave it for pack one, pick one. Lastly, after you have that whole process, it generates a bunch of numbers. The algorithm is trained to basically optimize how do we take that bunch of numbers from processing all of that data information and generate a rank order of every single card in the pack. With the AI built, the only thing left to do was for Ryan to test it in the arena.
after 23 drafts through the AI's picks and deck building combined with Ryan's gameplay, Ryan made Mythic, trophying seven times and an overall win rate of 66%. I'm so happy. What Ryan has accomplished is fascinating and one of a kind. I expect Ryan to refine his machine learning algorithm, become more and more adept at drafting as time goes on. Others will likely follow in Ryan's footsteps. He has posted the source code for the AI on GitHub. This is not a downloadable program for Magic users, but rather code for other machine learning programmers to reference. All of this creative development was made possible by the vast amounts of arena data being tracked through a program called 17 Lands. 17 Lands is an application that aggregates and shares draft and play data from Magic Arena. Because of the amount of data aggregated by 17 Lands is very large, it allows for statistically accurate insights into individual limited environments. 17 Lands data was used by Ryan to help successfully train his AI. Andy and Anthony, the hosts from the tremendously popular podcast Lucky Paper Radio, recently discussed how 17 lands data was changing the magic limited environment. And related is the 17 lands. I was like, going to mention that too. We shouldn't say like, in order to preserve the integrity of the of the game, let's like preserve some ignorance. Like, no, we should try and beat the game. Like, or at least acknowledge that like somebody's going to. Yeah, absolutely. Like whether they should do it or someone should do it. Like there's, some, there's not any like moral or ethical imperative. There's just, it's going to happen. Like, it's going to happen. As technology gets better and like we have the ability to track this stuff, someone's going to aggregate it and make it available. Andy and Anthony recognize there's no closing Pandora's box. Drafters are going to use all information available to them to increase their competitive edge. In this light, I asked Ryan how he saw his technology evolving in the future. I do think this type of technology can help us understand draft better. What I don't want to happen is I don't want stuff like this to exist that then makes people behave in the way that I don't like they behave already about 17 lands, which is point to something that says something with numbers and go, that's right, you're wrong, it said it. The bot doing something, yes, it, it does perform, in my opinion, as good as a you know, mythic drafter, which is very impressive. It still makes mistakes. Just like when you look at 17 lands data, there's lots of context that you're missing. So what I don't want to see is I don't want people to sort of start taking stuff like this as gospel. It's very good, but skepticism is important. I do have to say this by far exceeded my expectations by an awesome amount. I'm really excited for, you know, as this thing improves, can we actually learn about fundamentals of magic? And is there ways for us to sort of dig into this algorithm that has ingested more data than any person has ever ingested? to shed light on that. What comes next could be helping us understand how to learn and improve a draft. A magic player has reached Mythic by using artificial intelligence.